Sports Homebrew coming at you with a beer review. Today I've got a beer, another one from Tyler at Everdy Home Brewing. This is another beer from New Glarus Brewing Company. It is the Enigma. It's a Flanders Oud Brun. And I do love the style. It's a 5.5% ABV. It's made with cherries, which is pretty classic. And they age it in unlined oak casks. So we'll get this one cracked open and give it a try. Well, I poured, but the head dissipated very quickly. So here it is. It really is a murky brown, basically with some, some red hue to it is all. We're gonna get the nose on it though. Man, you do, you get a lot of oak. Uh, and I shouldn't say oak per se. There's oak and a big earthiness. And then I get the cherries and I do get some of the sour component in the nose. And it's really like dark cherries. And it's almost like I'm getting other fruits in there too, like like a light lemon component, and but it's almost like I'm getting other berries. I'm surprised how much uh, caramel I'm getting off this. I'm actually getting a good bit of malt and some good amount of caramel on it. Uh, it's, it's interesting. I don't think the nose is quite fully coming up. It might be a bit cool yet. So we're gonna dive in, cheers. Woohoo! Man, that had that had a vinegar, like an apple cider vinegar kick right up on the front there. That caught me, but also with a big hit of I would say dark cherry. So an interesting blend. And again, I'm getting that lemon. And I am getting a real woodiness, not just oak. That makes a lot of sense. If you're talking about unlined oak cast, you're gonna get more of a woody kind of texture. This isn't like a, it's just oak. So it's not like you're going to get bourbon or something, right? And so it is a really woody type component. I feel like I'm almost getting some other berries on it. Uh, for a moment there, I felt like I got like a kick of blueberry, maybe a kick, of, a light kick of cranberry, and almost some like, uh, like, like blackberries. Now this is part of their thumbprint series. So it's kind of like their high end series and uh, the thumbprint and the shape of the state of Wisconsin. It's a fun craft beer for sure. Yeah, it's just really interesting. There's plenty of sweetness on this. You get a lot of it, but you get definitely get plenty of the sour flavors too. It's, uh, I don't know if it's quite what I'd call classically a Flanders Old Brune. Or... It's interesting. It's, I'd say it's a good bit richer uh, a bit more kick of the um, the sour component, um, and then that lemon brightness kind of that comes in on the back. There's there's a lot more than a normal Flanders red, and I'm also kind of picking up now uh, almost like a raspberry component to it as well. I mean, it really is the cherries, dark cherries, but just with something about the sour and that lemon. It, it, it almost comes across like there's some raspberry in it. It's a really pleasurable beer. I won't, I won't say any different. I don't think it's really classic to the style quite. I think there's a lot more going on. I think it's more complex, honestly. So in terms of ratings on this, if I'm gonna talk about style, I still think it's really good beer. I think in terms of style, I'm gonna give it still a pretty decent rating. I'm gonna give it a 91. In terms of overall though, um, there's just a lot going on. This is a fun beer. Colin, my son Colin would be digging on this one. I'm gonna give it a much higher score. I, I'm really liking it. I'm giving it a 94. I think it's that good. Um, and, and you remember, I'm putting this up against all my stouts and things I like, but this is just drinking beautifully. Here it is again. It's the Enigma from New Glarus, brewing out of New Glarus, Wisconsin. I think this is one worth trying. I think uh, if you like your sours and you like that stuff, but this is this is a fun one. I'd say check it out. This is Kevin at Clements Homebrew saying, life's too short to drink cheap beer, and I'll see you in the next beer review.